I'm moving right now. Yes, friends, hello and welcome to the Music Zone. I'm Pitts Quattrone. We are broadcasting from Montpelier, Vermont, right downtown, the heart of the Green Mountains. And the Music Zone with Pitts Quattrone is brought to you by our friends at Aeromed Essentials, specializing in CBD tinctures and pain-reducing topicals, essential oils and diffusers, organic Vermont-grown hemp flower, glassworks for smoking. Located at 73 State Street in downtown Montpelier, online at aeromedessentials.com and by phone 802-505-1405. Remember to tell Lauren and her staff when you stop into Aeromed that you heard about them right here on the Music Zone with Pitts Quattrone. That's Aeromed Essentials. Well, it is the pilot broadcast of the Music Zone right here from Orca Media in downtown Montpelier. And I thought I would introduce uh, my good friend, and uh, he's a, a, a dear friend for many years. He's a soul, blues, R&B performer, guitarist, vocalist, band leader, composer, Vermont's own Dave Keller. How are you, Dave? Thanks, Pitts. Oh, that's a great introduction, man. <laughs> How could I not be doing well after an intro like that? Man, what else, what else can I do? You know, like, I, I can cook. You know, I well, can... I thought I'd build it up for yeah. you. <laughs> no, I appreciate it. No, I'm doing well. It's great to be here with you. I'm, I'm really proud and happy to be invited to be the first guest on your awesome new show, Yes, The me. Music Zone with Pitts Quattrone. Thank you. Well, thanks for taking some time out and, and being with us. So uh, I know COVID is being a performer. COVID has uh, been really tough for all of us. I know it, it shut you down in the middle of a tour. Uh, tell us about what was happening when last March while that was, uh, that, when that came to be. Well, I was with my band down in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, which is the heart of soul country, Memphis, Muscle Shoals, Mississippi, places like that. We're playing a gig, uh, Champy's Fried Chicken Shack. <laughs> nice. And the very next day, everything started shutting down. We started heading back north. We had a bunch of gigs planned the rest of our tour, about uh, eight mm. more dates, and they all basically just went right down the toilet. So oh. ever since then, uh, mostly been at home. Uh, you know, did some outdoor gigs this later this summer once things started to open up a little bit for outdoor gigs. Yeah. But uh, I've been working on my music. I just put out a brand new CD, a benefit CD, which I'm sure you'll tell folks about. But I'm really excited about that. Okay. And so I'm promoting that mostly. And you were planning on touring Europe? I was supposed to be in Germany, uh, Switzerland, France, Spain last oh. April. That all fell through as well because of COVID. Jeez. Well, one thing I noticed that uh, a creative thing you did <laughs> was online you were giving away uh, or raising money for some type of mustache trimming exhibition. What was that? <laughs> it was my great mustache auction. I actually was able to grow mustache. That's not actually difficult for me. I grow facial hair fairly easily, <laughs> okay. but I have never really grown such a substantial mustache. And in, uh, in about, a, I think it was about a month's time, and I sold the mustache in an auction and I raised uh, $250 for a great charity uh, helping uh, immigrants who uh, you know don't have enough money to pay their rent and things like that and cool. and then I also raised some money for myself so yeah wow that's a, that's, that's a great thing I remember watching that it was a whole lot of fun it's on YouTube <laughs> actually you can look it up Dave Keller mustache auction it's quite something let me tell you uh, all right so you folks out there check out the YouTube for Dave Keller's mustache auction all right so we're gonna uh, jump over to the music studio now for a, a tune one of the songs that's on your new album uh you get what you give is the album and i know it's a, a special all kinds of guests from all over the country and uh, we're going to hear about all those details and and what what it would happen with that and how that came to be but uh what is the song we're going to hear now we're going to hear land of the lonely land of the lonely land of the lonely dave keller from you get what you give. I live on the street with 
one street light Ain't much to see any old night Just the darkness and the fog And the houses of people like me If you live long enough There are things that you have The couples that fight All the families in fear In the darkness and the fog And the houses of people like me You think you could solve it with money, you'd be wrong. It's an old song, living in the land of the lonely. Each house on the street, just like a book. If you knew the truth, you'd be too scared to look. In the darkness, in the fog, in the houses of people like me. Sit in my chair, drink from my glass The memories of all the ghosts in my past In the darkness, in the fog, in the houses of people like me Oh, if it weren't so sad, it'd be funny Yeah, you'd think you could solve it with money You'd be wrong It's an old song Living in the land of the lonely friends welcome back that was dave and the land of the lonely with uh, one of your your good buddy and who tell everyone about that so the album is an album of duets and on this particular um song it featured my my buddy johnny rawls who's been a really great mentor to me he's a mississippi soul blues man uh, he's been on the road for about 50 years uh, he was <laughs> the former band leader with ov wright one of the greatest soul singers of all time mm. And uh, just a great guy. He's been a really great friend to me, and um, he was glad to participate in the album. All the, uh, all the funds from the album sales are going to help uh, raise money for racial justice and equity nonprofits. So, Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so how did you figure out which organizations to give money to? I actually just asked uh, the artists of color who were on the CD what their recommendations were. Mm. And so we got five different groups. Uh, to divide up, you know, 20% to each group, basically. Wow, that's great. You know, if people order it, they can order on the website, and 20 bucks from each CD sale goes directly to these groups, you know, divide it up, you know, five ways. So every artist, uh, studios, yep. the manufacturing, promotion, everyone is volunteering for this project? Well, all the artists donated their time. Yeah. Um, and Sugar House Soundworks down in, in Mad River Valley donated a week's worth of recording time, which was sure. super generous. Roger um, and Eric. Yep, Ro Roger and Eric. Roger Staus and Eric Bigsby. Mm -hmm. uh, Sigsby, rather. And um, up in Burlington, um, Tank Recording, Ben Collette and Rob O'Day donated uh, about a week's worth of mixing and mastering time as well. And then, yeah, I mean, we had to pay for some stuff. So um, like the, the factory obviously wasn't going to give us the CDs for free. So oh. I was able to raise money from a lot of my um, hardcore fans donated money specifically to help offset some of the costs of the project that we couldn't get donated. Okay. So thank you, fans. Yeah. And so tell us about uh, some of the other artists that are on this. Sure. Uh, I mean, when people listen to it, the first song is Anika Chambers, a uh, really incredible uh, soul blues woman from Texas. Um, from Houston, a young woman really kind of outspoken on issues of race and just a fantastic singer. Uh, Carly Harvey from D.C., she's D.C.'s queen of the blues. Cool. We got her on there. We got Annie Mack, who's a good friend of mine from Minnesota. Uh, she grew up in Minneapolis where George Floyd was murdered, so that seemed like particularly uh, ap apropos. Uh, before you go, let me yeah. interrupt. So you, got you mentioned George Floyd. Uh, this particular recording, did the murder of George 
make this more in the front burner of, for you? Is that why, this, like, oh, I got to do something? Or what gave you, what was that spark? Right. right. Well, honestly, it was inspired by that, um, you know, by that event, by the murder. Yeah. Mm. Um, I wasn't really planning to do a record, honestly. I was, you know, at home after all my gigs got canceled because of COVID. And mm. I had a lot of time on my hands. And I was watching the news, and I just thought, as a white soul blues musician who's made his entire living and career off of playing essentially black music with, you know, being mentored by black musicians, yep. um, you know, inspired by so much great music from, you know, the black community over the years, whether it's blues or gospel or soul or R&B. Uh, I thought, what can I do to help? You know, I, I think, uh, you know, white artists really need to step forward uh, in ways that, you know, might be even a little uncomfortable and risky for them. I don't think the problems of racism are going to be ended by uh, people of color being the only ones speaking out. Really, it's, it's systemic, and all of us white folks need to just acknowledge that and uh, step forward and do what we can. So I thought, well, what can I do? Uh, what are my skills? And my skills are writing songs and playing them and bringing people together to make records. So I thought, what if I do an album with my friends? And we donate all the profits to uh, groups that are working to end uh, racial injustice and inequality. Fantastic. Yeah, it, t it takes all of us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think a lot, of, a lot of white people listening might be like, well, you know, it doesn't really affect me that much. Like, you know, maybe they live in Vermont and, you know, it's, it doesn't affect you on a daily basis. But I think we're, it's really important that we listen to the voices of people of color, both within Vermont and outside of Vermont, and, and just trust that they're telling us their truth. And... And, you know, in much the same way the Me Too movement was about people finally listening to the stories of women and giving them credence, uh, believing them. You know, it's the same thing. I mean, I, I, you know, I've got, you know, two Saint, Saint Negritude, who's on this record. I mean, he's experienced some serious uh, discrimination here in Vermont. And he's a wonderful, positive, you know, beautiful light of a person. It's, yeah. it's incredibly sad to me. And so when and he... he's right here in Montpelier. Yeah, yeah, he lives, out, you know, out in the w woods, a little ways outside Montpelier. Okay. But, you know... Um, you know, when he brings up stuff, I'm like, okay, you know, he's not making this up. <laughs> you know, the stuff that happens, this actually happens to him. And I don't see it because it doesn't affect me on a daily basis, but it affects my friends, you know. Yeah. And, you know, I just, I just feel like it's important that we start speaking up more. Yeah. If um, we have a voice, you know, I have, a, I have a, 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 the ability to let people know. I have a lot of fans and, you know, I hope if they love blues music, how can you not be anti-racist, you know? Yeah. The music of blues was created out of racism. It was a response to racism. It was a response to oppression. Yeah. Yeah. Bingo. So there's. Uh, tell me more about the guests. There, it sounds like there's uh, some Vermonters on this, yep. but also people from all over the country. Right. So we have Chad Hollister from Vermont. We have, uh, you know, your buddy and mine, Chad. Great. Sure. You know, uh, kind of acoustic rock guy. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Two Cent Saint Negritude doing a spoken word piece with me that we did very impromptu. It was really fun. Cool. My national steel guitar and harmonica. Ooh, so that sounds like it's a, a, more of a scaled-down approach than the full band yep, kind of sound. Yep, yep, There's a real variety of stuff. I mean, there is one tune with just me and Ira Friedman, my longtime uh, keyboardist. Um, he plays the grand piano on a tune called The Spark. Uh, so that one technically is not like a vocal duet, but it's sort of like me and Ira doing a duet. Sure. The piano and vocals. So the name of the album is You Get What You Give, yep. and where can folks find it? Well, they can find it locally at Book Spieler in Montpelier on Langdon Street and also Exile on Main Street in Barrie. Mm -hmm. um, but they can find it at DaveKeller.com. There's a DaveKeller.com. Yep, Dave that's, Keller that's the good starting point. <laughs> I will personally <laughs> sign and mail you a copy. So, yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah. And uh, a couple more folks. Uh... Joe Lewis Walker's on there. He's a Blues Hall of Famer. Um, he's based in New York now, but he grew up in the Bay Area. Um, he was kind of the same kind of grouping is like, uh, you know, R Robert Cray, and he, he used to be roommates with Michael Bloomfield. Mm. Uh, you know, really one of the top names in the blues, you know, by anyone's standards. And Joe was generous enough to volunteer his time. Trudy Lynn, uh, blues queen of Texas, wow. unbelievable singer, and so soulful. She's on there. Fabulous. Um, yeah, just, you know, a whole mix of people. And uh, is it Brother Bob White? Brother Bob White is on a gospel track. <laughs> yep, he's 89 years old. No, he just turned 90. He's 90. <laughs> That's beautiful. Yep, and uh, we have ages 18 through 89 on there. Oh, my god. Because we have a, a fellow who is the grandson of a guy that I wrote songs with, Daryl Carter's grandson. Mm. Uh, Daryl and I wrote 17 years together uh, and Deeper Than the Eye Can See that have been on a couple of my previous albums. Fantastic. And his grandson's 18, lives in Memphis, and he played the guitar solo on a tune that Don Tyler Watson duets with me on. She's a 
great blues woman out of um, Montreal. Yeah. So his, his grandson, uh, Vince Allen, is, is on um, uh, God is Love, Love is Everything. Okay. Yeah, like an Ernie Isley vibe on that one. That was I, wonderful. I love this. Uh, there's so many things I love about this, the description and mm. the music on this album. For me, I, I love an album that has a variety of stuff, and it, not just like as window dressing, but this is like serious musical variety on this album, and all uh, pr pretty much almost every state in the country. Yeah, we, we hit it from like Montreal to Florida to Texas. To Fantastic. New York, to D.C., to Memphis, to Kansas City, hmm. uh, yeah, Minnesota. Beautiful. Yeah. You get what you give, folks. DaveKeller.com. You can find the album there. And uh, all the artists volunteered their time going towards great causes to make this country and this world a better place. Can I mention one more thing? Yes. My buddy Jim Gallagher and I have put together a video that by the time this show comes out, it will be released for one of the songs, it's called Ooh. The Evil That Men Do, and people should look for it on YouTube. All right, Jim Gallagher, the Montpelier yep. videographer, master the, the extraordinaire. Famed, the famed master <laughs> behind many of your masterworks, Pitts. If you've seen my cheesesteaks uh, video, the moving video, a lot of the live ones, Jim Gallagher has done that for me and you. Yep, exactly. You're the one who turned, turned me on to him, yeah. Does great work. So what's the name of the song? The Evil That Men Do, and it features four of the singers that are on the record uh, with duets. Uh, Johnny Rawls, Anika Chambers, Annie Mack, and um, uh, who am I missing? Trudy Lynn. Fantastic. Yep. All right, and when is that coming out? Uh, that should be out in a couple weeks. Okay, yep. great. All right, so it's time for another trip over to the magical music studio. <laughs> and this time I join you on Didgeridoo on a number. And uh, what song are we going to see? We're going to do As the Years Go Passing By. It's a great tune. Albert King uh, kind of made it famous. I think it goes back to Fenton Robinson. I think he's the one who wrote it. But okay. I've always loved this tune, yeah. As the Years Go Passing By, Dave Keller, Pitts Quattron, right here on the Music Zone with Pitts Quattron. There is nothing I can do If you leave me here to cry There is nothing I can do If you leave me here to cry follow you baby till the day I die I gave you all I had that's one thing you can't deny
you, baby. That's one thing you can't deny. You know I love you, baby. That's one thing you can't. gonna follow you as these years go passing by Okay, friends, welcome back to the sound studio here in Montpelier on Pitts Quatrone. This is the Music Zone. Today's guest, Dave Keller, joining us for the uh, maiden voyage of <laughs> the Music Zone. And uh, so, Dave, I know things are slow right now. Let's wave the magic wand and say COVID is gone. What's your first move? Oh, I want to just get out and play for, you know, even two people. I wouldn't even care. <laughs> I just want to be out playing with my band and getting to see people dance and hug and, you know, have fun and get sweaty on the dance floor. You know, all of that. All right, cool. Yeah. And how about maybe some of the things that got canceled, such as the Southeastern Mid-Atlantic Tour, yep. the European Tour. Is there some like, hey, when things start to get better, give, us, give me a call, Dave, and we'll rebook something. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to going over back over, you know, to Europe. I've never played in Europe, so this will be the first time, and they're mm. being very patient. Of course, they can't really travel much either, so yeah, we all, everybody kind of understands. It's just the way it is. Um, but right. you know, I'm looking forward to getting out there and playing. Uh, you know, my band and I were really on a roll before this all hit. Uh, I've got Ira Friedman on keyboards, as I have for the last 14 years, I think it is now. Jay Gleason, my original drummer from the band back in '96, has rejoined me the last couple of years. Super funky, super dance band now with with him on on drums. Excellent. And Alex Budney, the great bass player out of Moortown, Vermont. Mm. People have seen him with Seth Yagavoni or uh, uh, Craig Mitchell's tr Prince tribute. Yep. Josh Panda, he's a great bass player. So um, we're really excited. It's really kind of gelled. Yeah. So that's uh, it. Sounds like that that four piece band yeah. is the core yep. of, of what you bring on the road. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So. That's Dave Keller here on the pilot broadcast of the Music Zone. Dave, thank you so much. <laughs> it's the first show, so things are a little bit wacky. and We're working out some kinks, but I want to thank you for coming out and, uh, and spending some time with us. Well, it's my pleasure, man. And, and like your mask says, you got to make lemonade out of lemons. <laughs> and you know what? Lemons have pits in them. Oh! It's like a double meaning. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> perfect, man. It's so good That's to be cool. your friend, man. Thanks for having me on the show. Well, thank you, Dave. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd wear the, the dancing lemons today and and make some juice. <laughs> All right, friends, so that's Dave. We'll be back next time, but before we head out, I want to thank our sponsor one more time, and that is Aromed Essentials right here in downtown Montpelier, specializing in CBD tinctures and pain-reducing topicals, essential oils and diffusers, organic Vermont-grown hemp flower, glass works for smoking, Aromed Essentials, located downtown, 73 Main Street in Montpelier. AromedEssentials.com is their site. And you can uh, re they can be reached by phone, 802-505-1405. And remember to tell Lauren and her staff that you heard about them right here on the Music Zone with Pitts Quatrone. And that is Aeromed Essentials. I'm Pitts. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll talk to you next time on the Music Zone with Pitts Quatrone. I'm moving right now. Thank you.